It was a day just like today. We just so happen to have the brand new Aperture ALMW, which, what does that stand for? I would love to know, leave it in the comments. And it's their brand new light that just launched today. So I'll have a link down below in the description. We're not paid to say any of this stuff, but they did provide the light, so I can't complain with that. I'll tell you guys a little bit about my hands-on impressions from spending the last half hour kind of looking, diving into all the different settings and what it's capable of doing. One of the big things, obviously, is you can hook this onto your cameras. You can use it as a great light to light the scene, light the person. And now, of course, if you want like three-point light and all the technical side of things, you're going to probably want more lights than just this one right here. But just to paint an idea, if you're out on location, especially for like documentary filmmakers, behind the scene filmmakers where you don't have a whole crew, this is going to be an awesome light to get great video with great lighting. So I'm going to go ahead and power on the light. One of my favorite things about what this is capable of is it already has presets of different effect shots. So it has five different ones. I'm gonna go ahead and read them to you guys. It can mimic a television. It can mimic lightning, fault the bulb for the people that like doing horror films, fireworks, and paparazzi. So paparazzi meaning a lot of like flash photography. So I wanna show you guys what those different settings look like just so you can see if this is something that you're interested in. But a lot of times, especially when I was going to film school, we had to try and create a lot of different kind of settings, such as a television, you had to do it with other lights and that was always a little bit tricky. The people at Aperture, they are filmmakers so they have it kind of dialed in, kind of, they do have it dialed in as far as trying to get the best settings possible. I'm gonna show you guys just a flickering television. And I'm gonna go ahead and put on a CTB full color temperature blue. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna pop this off and it fits all snugly in here. Generally speaking, televisions, they are, they can often be um, kind of a bluer tone. Traditionally, if you're filming something like people watching television, you're gonna use more than just this light. But you guys can see, the light itself is on top of the camera lens, which isn't the safest place for it. But I want you guys to see how the flickering how it actually looks like I'm watching television. So you can say I'm here watching a horror film, just like that. But the flickering, it sets it and makes it feel real and organic compared to if it was just a light and nothing was actually changing. It actually feels like things are changing on the television. So I can change that color temperature blue with like a half color temperature blue so it won't be as blue as what you're seeing right now. Or I can even make it to color temperature orange because of the gels that are included. I'm gonna go ahead and set it to fireworks. Wait for it, wait for it. So I'm there watching fireworks. And if I was doing this for reals, like on a set, I wouldn't have this right in front of me. I'd actually have someone standing up, up here, holding the light, and I'd be looking up. But you can see it mimics very similar to what fireworks look like, as far as it's completely black, then all of a sudden they get super bright, and they slowly dim down. And then this is kind of random, whereas sometimes the fireworks will go off a little bit faster back to back. So it's not completely programmable, which is awesome because it makes it feel organic and real. So once again, I have all the lights turned off. This is all being lit by this light. I do have a little light in the background, which is my essentially my backlight. I'm going to turn that off just so you guys can see. There's now no lights whatsoever with the exception of this light right here. Go ahead and turn on that backlight because backlight always makes things look a little bit better. It makes me pop a little bit more. So now the next thing that I want to show you guys is lightning. Lightning will be traditionally be what is already set with these lights as far as you're not gonna want it too warm or too blue. And we're gonna go to lightning. So we're all set to lightning. Now lightning, normally speaking, is gonna be bright. And traditionally speaking, it's gonna be fairly dark to show off what a lightning storm looks like. Lightning. Or um, good for seizures as well. So you pick your choice. Um, but definitely it looks like lightning bolts, just like that. In film school, we'd have someone stand with a bunch of boards and they kind of wave it up and down really fast or move your hand super fast in front of the light and turn off the light really fast. And that's what we would do for lightning. Now we have it all programmed right here. You can definitely control the lightning, but this is just as simple as pushing a couple buttons. So the next setting that we have on here is, wait for it, wait for it, so faulty bulb. So this is more so for people that are doing horror films or just wanna make it look like the place is not the best kept. And this is a faulty bulb and what that looks like. So wait a second, wait for it. Okay, so, because normally you'd have a little bit of light and then occasionally it would flicker a little bit. Once again, the light itself is set on the lens 
of the camera and it's just giving that kind of that flickering vibe um, which is usually the best for horror films you'll see the girl or the guy running through the hallway and the lights are flickering it makes it very scary and creepy now the last setting that i'm going to show you guys is the paparazzi or the camera flashes now i'm gonna turn on both the, both of my lights wait for it awkward so you guys can kind of see the effect it has if someone is taking photography of me and let's see. Now you're gonna notice the one thing I'm noticing right now, because I have a screen right here, DSLR cameras, they have a rolling shutter. So the one issue that I'm seeing with this, the rolling shutter makes it so there's gonna be different lines. So for me, this isn't my favorite, it's probably my least favorite because DSLR cameras are flawed as most things are in the world, but it doesn't look as natural as I think it should just because of the way DSLR cameras work. Now there's definitely better cameras out there that deal with the rolling shutter better, but with what we're filming on right now, which is the Canon 70D, um, it doesn't look as great um, because of that reason right there. If you're shooting on film or cameras that don't have as bad of a rolling shutter, um, the effect is gonna be a lot better and actually make a bigger difference. So another big thing about this is it is waterproof up to 10 meters. Another big deal, especially for people that are filming on the rain, out on location. It comes with a travel carrying case. It is charged by USB-C, which are the same cables they use on all the new MacBook Pros, the laptops, and also what they use on Nintendo Switches to charge those. So it's a very common cable. Um, you just plug it in right here and you can make the magic happen right there. And it also has what's called a booster mode. So essentially that makes it so the light is as bright as humanly possible that it can do on its own. I'm gonna go ahead and hold that button down or press that button. Now that's booster mode. So it's obviously overexposed. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. But if you wanna get the most out of a light, turn on booster mode. Because it's so bright, it can only last for so long. So about a minute, it shuts itself off off as far as the super brightness and then it takes about 40 seconds until it can go full full crazy brightness again but generally speaking unless you're doing documentary stuff you don't need it to be that bright for that long once again thanks to aperture for hooking us up with this light we're super stoked about it and as we always say over and out